so many long years, I've reflected and ruminated. Unable to accept my adventure had been terminated. Mr. Cassio haunts my mind, whatever I do, whatever I try. I've set out to find her and the man who gouged my eye. That's right, now I'm back to give this story a new direction. I couldn't stay in Edinburgh, floundering in woe and dejection. In my dreams, my love for Miss Acacia is undying. Now I've come to win her back. But if not, I'll die trying. I couldn't wait to see again my worst enemy, Little Jack. And hearing that a curse ticking immediately took me back. When I caught a glimpse of him, I felt the pressure start to rise. We needed a talk, but there was only hatred in his eyes. I explained losing one of mine changed the way I see things forever. Like him, I suffered from my difference, but revenge wasn't my agenda. I bullied him in the past, which cost me an eye, and now we're quits. Now the only battle with Jack I traveled to Spain for is one of wits. I understand that he hates me for all the torment he sustained. I humiliated, persecuted him, causing every type of pain. But asking about Acacio on the first day was pretty dense. As soon as the question left his lips, he'd signed his death sentence. There's one thing we have in common, that we do anything for her. But older and wiser now, we can't forget the scraps and slurs. I'm taking Acacia home to Edinburgh to begin again. But first I challenged Jack to a duel and now, may the best man win. It's no one's fault but your own, Jack.